Hi guys, today I will discuss iron with the simple welding tools and try two different electrodes, the 7018 and Z208. We will find a lot of tools that are made from cast iron, like this planer or the clamp and the stove. And my very very old and worn out lathe, that is probably 99% cast iron. So we need to know if what I am welding is steel or cast iron. The first way is with the spark test, using the angle grinder and comparing the sparks. You see the sparks in my steel, it is brighter and there is more than the cast iron. And if I drill cast iron, I will get some grey iron powder and small shavings that break easily. And drilling mild steel the right way produce long silver spiral shavings that have some give when we try to break them. You can see the difference in color here. And when the cast iron breaks, it breaks like glass without any bending. And it cracks easily like it is showing here. I'm going to weld here without the preheat using the 7018 and we will see. When it's cooling down, I hear the iron cracking, listen. Now let's try to do it the right way. I am taking welding it here to position the parts well. I'm opening groove for better penetration and stronger weld bead. Don't use 6013 when stick welding cast iron. The reason is that it splatters too much and sometimes even explodes a bit. And I never got a good weld using it. Unlike the 7018, it is a good all around electrode. But first, I will use this Z208 that produced cast iron weld if it's been treated right. But the problem with it is that it gave us a brittle weld that it could crack easily and there is better electrode to repair cast iron, the Z308, that has a very high nickel content over 90%, that keeps the weld bead from getting hard and brittle, because the nickel does not suck the carbon from the cast iron, and I couldn't find it here in my town, but the steps are the same. I am preheating the cast iron to over 400 degrees Celsius, or 750 Fahrenheit, and I don't have a way to measure the temperature, so I am just guessing. I am welding at 100 amps 
and I will not show you that because it is just a white light and you can't see anything and I will the bit and stop to hammer on the weld bead so it expands and does not pull the cast iron to avoid cracks I flip the piece and do the same so I don't put any excessive heat on the same place And I let it cool slowly, and you can even bury it in sand to hold the heat longer. For the use of this part, this result is acceptable, because it needs only to carry its weight. Let us see if I can repair this clamp with the Z200 days. I am using a thick piece of steel to maintain the heat longer The paint is burning and putting out nasty smoke If I could do this outside, I would I will test it now Yep, it didn't work for me here and Let's weld it using the 7018 doing the same steps I am using the butane torch to help it cool even slower
this is good and I'm using all my hand strength. I tried the 7018 before and I love using it for almost every weld except thin metal. If you find my video helpful, give it a like and thank you.